In an interview on Jimmy Kimmel, Daisy Ridley dropped some major revelations about the Star Wars sequel trilogy, stuff that many of us already knew, but simply Daisy confirmed it. In the interview, Daisy Ridley specifically talks about Rey's lineage, and how it went back and forth over the sequel trilogy, all the way from The Force Awakens to the filming of The Rise of Skywalker. That's right guys, Disney didn't know Rey's lineage until they started filming the final movie. Daisy Ridley in the interview talks about at one point Rey having a connection to Obi-Wan Kenobi concerning her lineage, meaning likely that Obi-Wan was going to be her grandfather. And then at another point in time when Ryan Johnson took over, Rey was legitimately no one. And that the idea that Rey didn't have this great and powerful bloodline was actually toyed around with. Daisy Ridley admitted that she was told that Rey was going to be Palpatine's granddaughter before she filmed The Rise of Skywalker. But once she appeared on set, she believed that it had changed and wasn't really sure what the final plan was. I think it's really interesting that a lot of the actors are now finally speaking about their experiences with the sequel trilogy and showing really the negligence that Lucasfilm and Disney showed for the sequels. They had no plan and it really showed, especially in The Rise of Skywalker. I've said before that I really don't hate The Rise of Skywalker, but it seemed to undo a lot of what The Last Jedi set up, similarly to how The Last Jedi undid what a lot of The Force Awakens had set up. Because of the inherent fact that they had no plan for the sequels, they simply made The Force Awakens with various filmmakers having different ideas and grand schemes in mind, and then this was done away with. And then similarly again with The Rise of Skywalker. Ryan Johnson came in, gave his input, and then J.J. Abrams came back and undid it all. I'm seeing a lot of people on social media upset with the fact that we didn't get Rey Kenobi or Rey Nobody. But I think the larger story here is that Lucasfilm had no plan for the sequels. Very much unlike the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they kind of winged it. And now going back and watching it, you can tell. The production, a lot of the acting is really great for the sequels. But the cheapest, and yet ironically the most important part, the story is lacking severely. If you talk to any filmmaker, they will always tell you that the most important part is the story. And again, as I stated, it's ironic that Lucasfilm, a company with near endless amounts of resources, would lack in the one department that costs the least. The idea of this overarching story and theme. A big thing that's missing in the sequel trilogy, again, is the consistency of characters. Not only the way that characters act, but also their overall arcs. It's just really disheartening to know that after The Force Awakens wrapped and we were all speculating on who Rey may be, even Lucasfilm themselves had no idea. And I'm sure they had no idea who Snoke was going to end up being and even to this day probably have no backstory ready for Snoke. No official one, that is. This lack of preparation on this massive franchise is really concerning to me, and I hope that moving forward, Lucasfilm really does their best to remedy this. I understand that they probably had specific story beats that they wanted to touch on. They just didn't map it out or really correspond with one another. I hate to keep using Marvel as an example, but over at Marvel, the directors have free will, but there's also a basic outline on how those characters are supposed to be handled, and where they will ultimately end up. And it's really disappointing to see that they weren't capable of this with the Star Wars sequels. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this, and Daisy Ridley's comments about Rey's bouncing around heritage, and the fact that even while filming The Rise of Skywalker, literally the cameras were rolling, they weren't sure whether or not Rey was going to be a Palpatine, or who Rey really was. Anyway my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video, may the force be with you, and have a great day.